All right, uh, today we're going to go over on how to set up a uh, small home network uh, using XP or Vista. Uh, we will be using XP in this demonstration, but Vista will work the same way. The look is just a little differently. Um, you will need at least two computers, and you'll have to have a switch or a router of some sort, a router, I should say, to uh, have both computers connected to the network. Uh, in this case, we're using a wireless router. Um, completely wireless, wireless, no uh, hard lines or anything like that. Um, so, first thing you need to do is uh, right click on my computer and you go to properties. This will take a minute here. This computer is, uh, I got some things running in the background. Okay, so you go to computer name. Most of the time this will be either named workgroup or MS home. Um, I'm actually on, I call mine work group, yeah. so I'm going to change this. I just changed it to MS Home for this demonstration. So we'll type in work group. This will ask for a restart. We are not going to restart because I'm using a uh, screen recording software, and if I restart, it'll obviously restart the uh, program. So, okay, it'll say work, welcome to work group, work group. You can name this whatever you want. Um, but both the computers will have to be named the same thing. So it'll say restart. I'm not going to restart. I'm already on work group, so I don't need to restart. That, that was just for demonstration. So right now we're working on the first computer. Again, you're going to have to do the, the both computers. So let's say we're on the computer where we want to share all these drives. That's the one we're working on now. Okay, so now we're a part of a work group. And now we're going to select what we want to share. Um, you can either share a whole folder, you can share a, a CD-ROM drive, or what have you. Let's say we want to share this archery folder. We can actually share the whole the whole my documents, but let's say we just want to share this folder. So you right-click on the folder, hit Properties, Sharing, and then you'll see your local blah, blah, blah. You can make it private, network sharing and security. Share it. You can actually change the name. It, whatever you want. It won't change the name of the folder, but you can change the name as you, you you want to share it. So you hit whatever you want to put in there. If you want to make it the same, hit apply, OK, and then you're done. Um, that folder will be shared on the network. And uh, let's say you want to share a printer. Um, go to control panel. Go to printers and faxes. And here's our HP PhotoSmart. Right click on it. Go to properties. You hit sharing. You can hit uh, that's default so do not share a printer. You can actually share a printer. Again, you can name it whatever you want. It'll be shared on the network. Um, you can even share uh, CD-ROMs. This computer doesn't have a CD-ROM, but let's say we wanted to share. Uh, say we wanted to share this uh, SD card. Right-click it. Properties. Sharing. Again, you can name it whatever you want. Get that out. Um, so, let's say you've shared all the folders. You're part of the, the work group. Um, this is on your first computer. Okay, you're done with your first computer. Okay, now we're on the second computer. Same thing. You'd have to right-click my computer, go to properties, go to computer name, do the same thing. You have to put this as a work group. If it's not already, hit OK, apply, then it'll ask you for a restart. Okay. So now we're done with the first computer, and we've already networked the second computer. Now we want to see our drives. Let's go to My Computer, go to Tools, Map Network Drive. Now, if you know the drive name, you can put it in here, down here in the folder section, whatever you want. Um, and you can name it whatever drive letter you'd like. So let's name this S. And let's say we don't know the name. Well, we hit Browse, and you'll see Work Group. There's the work group I had uh, at one time. Okay, well here's the, I've actually got three PCs on here. The PC I want to look at is this one here. This is my main one. So I just drop, the drop down. So I've got shared printers and faxes. This is what I'm sharing on this. Disk, this is actually the CD-ROM. There's nothing in there, so there's no drop down. But that was actually the CD-ROM. So let's say we just want to share, uh, let's say just share it. We want to get that folder, so we hit OK. See, it's in there. 
finish. We'll t uh, connect. Attempt to connect. And there it is. This is a, a separate drive. This is uh, got some MP3s in there. This is a complete separate drive that's not on this computer. And it boots like right here. And it connects every time. As long as the other computer is on, it will connect every time. So I can store files on here. You can see there's 131 gigs of free space. I can save videos there, YouTube videos, whatever I want. And that's basically how you do it. If you don't want to use that drive anymore, you just right click it, disconnect. It'll take a few seconds here. It's gone. Simple as that. Um, you can actually even share the C drive. I don't really recommend it, but you can share the entire C drive. Right click it, properties, sharing. It'll ask you if you understand the risk, yes. And you can share the whole C drive. So let's uh, share that real quick. Acer C, we need apply. It will take a few seconds because it's the C drive. <coughs> Got to set the folder permission. Um, I think this setting folder permissions is only a function in, uh, I believe, Service Pack 3, with XP Service Pack 3. I have never noticed it in Service Pack 2. So, anyway, we're going to cancel that, but you get the gist. So, I don't really want to share that, but cancel all of that. Actually, it is still shared. Let's see if we can see it on the network. Go back. That drive. Else. Go to this machine right here, the actual machine we're on, it should be up there, it is. Hit OK, finish. So I'm sharing, and then sharing. See, I'm actually on the same drive, but I'm uh, sharing, I can share it over the network, my whole entire C drive. And disconnect. And then to unshare, right click it, properties, there's actually there's a quicker way. You can go to right-click it, sharing and security. Go there as well. That's actually a little quicker. To unshare it. You have to click it. Apply. Let's see the little hand go away. If you saw the little hand, yeah, the little hand's gone. Um, cancel. Yeah, there's actually a little hand when you share. You'll see a little hand under the drive. So I'll or under. I'll show you here. little hand. To unshare it, same thing. And then, hey, there you're done. You can uh, transfer files over. If you had it at the, one of the other drives over here, you can push files over to it. You can save them directly to it. You can pull files from it, whatever you need to do. And uh, it's a nice little, uh, nice little tool. Well, there you have it.